Hello, I'm Dave from New Zealand. Get out of here, cat. Um, and I've just I haven't noticed any any um, ant YouTubers from New Zealand, so I thought I'd post my finding. Get the fuck out of here, cat. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> post my findings on here and um, show you all in case uh, any Kiwis wanted to follow my path, or probably are trying to follow my path or are following my path. How many times can you say path in a sentence? So yeah, I've got um, a queen ant here and a couple others and a bit more crude methods. Hello. Um, I just thought I'd show you. So that's my girl there. I found, ooh, I don't think she likes being out in the light. I've only had her for about two days, so I shouldn't have, definitely definitely should not have checked on her this early, but uh, I was in the shower and I thought I <laughs> I just decided to do this. So what I've got here is just a clear clear tubing from the garden center at Mitre 10, you can probably get it at any hardware store, um, with a irrigation, dude, get, fuck, go away, I love you, but go away, any, uh, yeah, so I've just got an irrigation cork in the end with some water, ideally use distilled water or boil the water, so it's, it hopefully clears it of any chlorine or anything bad, I just got out of the tap, you know, but if you think if you boil it, it gets rid of the chlorine, so I did that, and make sure your hands, when you do this, make sure your hands are clean, and just probably, I cleaned mine like two times throughout the process. Um, put a cotton bud in there. I got it straight out of a packet. I just shoved it in. Don't shove it in too fast so that the water is, shove it in far enough so the water is at the end of the cotton bud, like the whole cotton bud soaked. Um, but not too far as, as, as in, so there's, um, a lot of moisture in the compartment with antlers and I did that to a couple other ones and I don't think it turned out too well for them <laughs> Shit. sorry um, but yeah I put some soil like just some bark in here so the the Queen can I've never seen anyone else or well, I think I have with sand I was looking for sand but I didn't have it near on my property um, yeah, just in case she wants to move around and so it feels a bit more like home. Well, a would-be home. Um, I didn't boil it or freeze it like I probably should have. Um, because if there's any, I don't know, mold spores or predators or parasites in the soil, but it's basically just bark anyway, um, it can, might not be good for her or the eggs, but hopefully not. They live in soil out in the wild, so should be right. And then, yeah, just a cotton bud at the other end to let yeah through. I chopped the cotton ball in half, so it's not as thick. Um, but, yeah, that is the sand. I just found her, um, I found her, yeah, two days ago, and it's January the 8th. So I, I found several other queens all throughout December, probably, like, more so halfway through December. I wasn't looking. I just found them and noticed them because I've, I've I've been into into them for a while. Um, so yeah, they go all through. You can find them all through December and January. And I think even into February, just in summer really. Probably spring as well, but depends on the species. I don't know much about the species. Yeah, look for them. Probably, I feel like I'm talking to people who, if there's anyone watching this. <laughs> People who most likely already know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, if you want to get into them, this might be helpful. After rain, after rain is good. A sunny day after rain is really good because it softens up the soil for them and, it, and the, the ants let out their elates, which are the um, males and females um, with wing, the winged males and females um, who go and fly out and do the deed and then they land and well, she lands, he dies. Try and find a place to sit up. Crazy man. Oh. Well, that's what I did. <laughs> I was drawing what I did. So yeah, I guess I'll show you my other ant colonies. There's this one here who I had a... Um, I'm going to put her back in the box just to get her out of sight and back in the dark. Very gentle with her. Put you down for a second. I'm not a pro. First video ever. Put her back in the box. She's nice and safe and sound. Put that back on her. 
lots of breathing holes. They don't need a lot of air, so it doesn't matter too much. And put her back in her drawer. Don't really need much of the stuff in here, so I don't play with it very often. Back in. Nice and quiet and dark, and it'll pretty much at the same temperature. I uh, won't fluctuate too much, or I won't fluctuate fast, so that's what that's what's good for her. Yeah, so ones. This one here, I found a a lot before before that one over there, which is really new. Um, I found a winged ant, a queen. I'm I'm certain that it was a queen, and it was, but it was a lot smaller. I don't know if that means that it's not fertilized, or or if it's just a different species, but it was winged, so I just, I didn't have a high feeling that it was mated. It doesn't, it's not 100%. They can keep their wings, but, um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure if it was mated or not. Ugh, get on the ground. Yeah, so I, again, I didn't, I couldn't be bothered because I didn't, I didn't have high hopes for this queen, so I didn't freeze or um, cook the soil. It's literally just from my old... Uh, plants one of my old plants so I just keep keep all the soil lots and lots of plants <laughs> um so I just put her in here and drilled some well I drilled the holes first and I drilled some in the bottom as well but I I honestly think that she could have fit through these holes she was a lot smaller than the other one ones um so I haven't seen her in a while I only saw her that first time I put her in so she's probably gone which is fine, but I'll just keep this around in case she decides to pop back up or perhaps, hopefully, her work is trying to pop back up. Zoom it out a bit. This, I really don't like disturbing her, this girl. I've dis disturbed her way too much. Um, I, mm, it's very crude. Just some duct tape around the sides for some darkness in the soil and holes on the bottom and on the top. Is. Yeah, I just got it from work. I found the queen in at work, and this is the best I could do while I was there. And I just decided to fill it up with soil. Yeah, so she's in there. I saw her. Um, oh, I'll show you guys. But I disturbed her about five minutes ago when I was um, just having a look. I've so I've seen her dig two hole, two different holes in here. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, there she is. Bottom, um, bottom right. Yeah. So she's about the same, um, the same size and just, she looks the exact same as the first one I showed, but just in a different environment. I was, yeah, I wanted to see how it would go. I tried to keep a queen last year in a, in a, in a similar environment to that first one I showed. Probably just a little bit less. This cat just, he was, he just stares at himself in the mirror. That's weird. Um, yeah, probably just a little bit less hygienic as the one that's, as the, the current one in the drawer. Um, so, and I disturbed her too often, so she started eating her eggs. She started eating her eggs and just nothing happened, so I eventually let her go and she probably just died in the, out in my backyard. <laughs> but that was after months and months and months and months, like probably six months, maybe longer. She just wasn't doing anything. Maybe ran out of energy. But yeah, that's that one. I had... Um, I can't remember if I showed this or not. I think I did. Yeah, I did. I had two others. This, I had one in here and one in the other tube. I don't worry, I cleaned it. But they both died. Um, they had mold, I'm pretty sure, all over their bodies. I think, yeah. I just... I, I used makeup wipes. Uh, dry ones. Just to wipe off makeup, obviously. But I don't think that there, there was enough airflow going through them, and I might have pushed the makeup wipes too far into the water, so there was too much moisture um, in the chamber where the queen lives. They both were winged. I think at least this one's winged. I don't know why. I just haven't cleaned it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's still there. Um, I don't know if the other one was or not, but... I hate that cat sometimes. Get out of it! Get lost, man! Uh, yeah, so don't use makeup wipes, they're crap. <laughs> use cotton buds, like two dollars. Cotton balls. Yeah, I don't really think to so. say. That's like everything. Probably, almost everything.
almost everything. So, goodbye. If anything happens, any updates, I will probably update this YouTube channel, or I'll just leave it to die. I don't really care. We'll see. <laughs> Take it easy, yeah.